Chocolate Fever by Robert Kimmel Smith. Chapter 4. Pop! Dirt breeds germs, Nurse Molly Farthing would often say, and germs have a nasty way of making healthy people ill. Naturally, the infirmary of PS-123 was always spotless because Nurse Molly Farthing would ha wouldn't have it any other way. And naturally, as Mrs. Kimmel Farber and Henry rushed through the door that morning, she made both of them go back and wipe their feet on the mat. And don't bring any of your cocoa in here, Nurse Farthing added. She sniffed the air loudly. Cocoa, said Mrs. Kimmel Farber. Don't think I don't smell it, Nurse Farthing said. Please, Nurse Farthing, said Mrs. Kimmel Farber. We have an emergency on our hands. This is Henry Green. He's breaking out in a rash of some sort. So I see, said Nurse Farthing. She sat Henry down in a chair and turned on a bright light. Pushing her spectacles down to the tip of her nose, she bent close to Henry and looked him over. It's a rash, all right, she said at last. Peculiar. Looks like little brown spots all over. Exactly, Mrs. Kimmelfarber said. But what is it? Have you ever had measles? Nurse Farthing asked. Yes, said Henry, when I was five. Chicken pox? When I was three and a half. Then I would say you have an unidentified rash. And frankly, I don't like the look of it. Henry, who up until now was merely frightened, began to feel terrified. Nurse Farthing laid her cool hand on his arm and steadied him. There, there, dear, she said. Nothing to be frightened of. I'm sure it's not serious. How do you feel? Not very good, said Henry. Warm? No. Cold? No. Dizzy? No, said Henry. I just feel strange. You poor dear, said Nurse Molly Farthing. You really must be frightened. She ran her fingers through his hair and patted the back of Henry's neck. Somehow this made him feel a little better. Pop! Did you say something? asked Nurse Farthing. No, ma'am, said Henry. Pop! What is that noise then? she asked. It sounded like something going pop. Uh-oh, all of these little um, bubbles around here say pop, 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 pop. I heard it too, said Henry. So did I, said Mrs. Kimmelfarber. Pop, pop, pop. Now they all heard it. The sound of popping filled the infirmary. Little pops and bigger pops and poppity pop pops kept popping. Henry looked at his arm and in an instant knew where the noise was coming from. His little brown spots were growing bigger and bigger. They were popping out all over him, no longer the size of freckles. They were as big as chocolate bits his mother used for making cakes and cookies. He could feel them popping on his arms and face, could feel them growing under his shirt. In less time than it takes to tell it, Henry Green was covered with little brown lumps from the top of his head to the tip of his toes.